I think this video is going to piss everybody off. The New Jersey Devils fans are tuning in saying, wait a minute, why are you comparing our guy to that guy? That guy is so below what our guy has accomplished. It's not even funny, Lego. Why are you making this video? And then you have the Canadians fans tuning in here and saying, oh, why are you being so harsh on our guy? Why are you not letting our guy develop at the slow pace that he needs to in order to become a superstar at the National Hockey League level? This is a video that is going to piss off both fan bases, but I want wanted to go out there and make it because two days ago we had ourselves the preseason game of Montreal versus New Jersey. And if you wanted to get my thoughts as to why I'm making this video two days after the game rather than when the game was over or even one day after the game, it's because for the Montreal Canadiens, they do have themselves yet another preseason game later tonight against the Ottawa Senators. That's going to be cool to watch. But what I also wanted to do before making this video was gather a bunch of opinions, just sort of read social media, see what's being tossed around out there. Because in the first preseason game, Montreal versus New Jersey, you saw a very intriguing matchup of first overall picks going head to head. 2019's Jack Hughes for the Devils, as well as 2022's Uri Slavkovsky for the Montreal Canadiens. Now, we had already made a video earlier this week talking about Uri and the comparisons to Logan Cooley, because, spoiler alert, Cooley was in Australia with the Arizona Coyotes and he showed off some spectacular skills. Skills that Slavkovsky or Wright or Simon Nemec, any of the guys in the 2022 draft, skills that none of these guys have displayed. Logan Cooley has been doing those things in the NCAA and he carried that over to Melbourne. So even though there was a cool conversation going around talking about how Cooley is this guy that could challenge Bedard for the Calder, we made the video a few days ago saying, yeah, the Canadians, Slavkovsky, they have a guy. Cooley debatably is better, but Slavkovsky is still the first overall pick. What's up with that? Now today we're talking about the head-to-head -head matchup. And the reason we're talking about Uri versus Jack Hughes today is because in the preseason game that we had seen, Long story short, the Canadians just kind of blew it. They didn't do all too well, which is totally fine. It's the preseason. It doesn't matter. These games don't mean anything at the end of the day. They're just there for teams to be able to get their feet wet, I guess. Jack Hughes in the 4-2 win of New Jersey over Montreal had three points, a goal and two assists. Meanwhile, Yuri Slavkovsky had himself zero points. And when it comes to the way that fans were reacting to this game... We saw a lot of people on Canadians Twitter and Canadians Reddit talking about Yuri Slavkovsky and the way that he performed. Here's a comment made on the RHAB subreddit by Valix HD. After the game against New Jersey, Slavkovsky has improved his conditioning and played true to style last night. Just thought the man deserved some recognition. His play along the boards is a huge part of his draft year recognition, and he made some good plays in those areas last night. He is noticeably faster and has more breath than last season. I'm happy to see it. I want to see him with the puck more and for him to make better decisions when he gets it. He made two chances that ended up hitting the post. He easily could have had two assists in this game. Another commenter says here, compared to last season and especially given how he was in his first game since January, he had a really good game. He did seem faster and more physical, but you can see he still hesitates and rarely finishes the nice plays he creates. The good news is, to me, this hesitation seems mostly rooted in self-doubt, so we should see him improve in that regard over the next season. One more comment here on the subreddit. I said this in the game thread, but I'll repeat it here. I think he had a good game. His game will continue to improve as he gets more touches and reps. He definitely needs to settle down with the puck and use his frame to his advantage. I think these skills will develop as he matures. I would also like to see him drive the middle more. When he does this, defenders have a hard time containing him because of his size and speed. I'm confident the kid would figure it out. You also had yourself some Twitter posts made. This is what Hattie went out there and said from Dauber. Hattie does some amazing work, by the way. Always big shout outs over to Hattie. Slavkovsky is still crowding the short side off the rush. It's all good to work on your VO2 max and break the workout bike and all that stuff, but the fundamentals. And so just from the one game we had seen against New Jersey, Slavkovsky was okay. He was fine. You could even say he was pretty all right. It's just on paper, there were no points, and that's totally okay. It's the preseason, who cares? It's just a lot of the assumptions we had about Slavkovsky heading into the season are still present that, hey, a lot of what's holding Slavkovsky back really is just his own mindset. Not that he doesn't have the tools, not that he doesn't have the awareness, nor the, 
IQ to make plays and make reads, but rather the willingness to take initiative, to drive forward and do the things that he can do. It's more so of a mental block here. And I'm not going to make it seem like, oh, once Slavkovsky opens up that mental block, this guy's going to be Rick Nash 2.0. Big power forward guy with a pass with a shot. I'm not saying anything like that. There's a lot of time that goes into these things. But seeing Yuri Slavkovsky play off in a game against Jack Hughes, where Hughes went out there and had three points, was really interesting. Because Slavkovsky said this about the situation. They had asked him about playing against Jack Hughes and other first overall picks. Oh yeah, I've followed the NHL since I was a kid, so I knew every season how the first overall or second overall or whoever, how his first season was. Of course, I look at Jack Hughes and I also think he was saying he didn't like his first season. And of course, I didn't like my first season. Of course, I have to step up. It's a big step, but I feel ready. And here's part of the thing as well. Jack Hughes is a superstar, and I think a lot of people can agree with that. Devils fans would say he's one of the best players this team has had in years, and everybody can acknowledge that the guy is probably going to get 100 points this season. Knock on wood, he stays healthy the entire year. 99 points, 78 games played last year, but his first NHL season saw him put up 21 points in 61 games played. That was seen as a really big decline from what we had seen from all the other first overall picks leading up to this. The McDavid's, the Matthews's, the Darlene's, even the Hishiers, they all outproduced Jack in their first NHL seasons. Slavkovsky had 10 points in 39 games played last year, so actually a worse points per game. Now, of course, Slavkovsky was injured for a good chunk of the season, but the point remains. Slavkovsky had a bad first year in the NHL, so did Jack Hughes. You could see that Hughes wasn't really fully matured physically, and that he needed to use some time to adjust to the NHL game and read NHL defenders. As his career went on, he improved his shot as well, and with a greater understanding of just how the NHL game worked, Hughes became a top-tier player. For your eye, it's going to take a lot more work, but the point here is that Jack Hughes was seen for a few years as a guy that might have been on bus territory. Like, sure, nobody's calling him a bust after his first year at 18 years old, but there was some concern. Wait a minute, Yakupov, McKinnon, Nugent Hopkins, McDavid, Ekblad, these guys all had better first overall seasons than Jack Hughes did. What's going on with this guy? Give it time, and everything will work itself out. We talked about this in the Slavkovsky Cooley video, that Cooley may be the better player right now. You could very well say that. You could say that Cooley gets more points than Yuri Slavkovsky. But for the Canadians fans on Twitter, for the Canadians fans all over social media, I'm seeing so much more slander about this guy and a lot of people coming up to the bat and defending him too that this is not going to be a conversation that goes away anytime soon, you know? For every conversation that I see that is brought up about, oh, Slavkovsky is this, Slavkovsky is that, you see two or three more people going out there saying, oh no, give him time. Look at Jack Hughes. He was not good in his first NHL season and he became great. Here's a tweet made by Robert Louis that actually stumbled across my timeline. It's a pretty popular one here. I searched Yuri Slavkovsky to see if there was any injury update and instead got reintroduced to the cesspool that is Habs Twitter and the hate squad on there. Anyone bemoaning Slav's play or lack of potential after showing a clear step from last year in his first game back? Just log off already. Some replies go out there and say this. He looked how he always looked, lost and confused. I think he has trouble processing the game at this speed. Playing top minutes in Laval would do him a lot of good, same as last season. The reply and response says this, If you couldn't see the obvious step from his play last year, I can't help you. Nobody is saying he's a finished product. He was always going to need time to develop, and he still does. But to imply that he looked awful or the same as last year is trolling at best, stupidity at worst. So, when it comes to Slavkovsky, this guy is still polarizing amongst the fans. We're having ourselves another game against the Sens later today. At the time of recording this audio, I have not seen the line, so I don't know if Slavkovsky is going to be playing once more. But once the regular season starts, once Slavkovsky has his spot on the team, we'll see who he plays with. We'll see where St. Louis decides to place him into the lineup and how much ice time he's going to be given, how much of an opportunity there's going to be to really bolster up his hockey brain for NHL play and hopefully expand more so on what we had seen last year. Sure, we all hope and expect him to best out his point marker of 10 points last year, but he doesn't need to get a 60-70 point season for us to be okay with his development. If Jack Hughes is the standard, we can hold on to Slavkovsky for a while and let him cook. 
So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about this matchup that we had seen two days ago? How do you feel about the response to this online and Slavkovsky's entire perspective on Jack Hughes and his season? Thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this. Vidishra Shrolls 99. And bye.